Hello friends. Welcome to this new session. Today we will learn the textual comprehension, grammar and vocabulary of the 6th unit from the 9th standard English textbook SSC Board Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. On to part A. A long walk to freedom. On to the question and answers. Answer the following questions. Why is it difficult to fulfill the twin obligations in a country like South Africa? It is difficult to fulfill the twin obligations in a country like South Africa because whoever tried to fulfill his duty to his people was inevitably ripped from his family and his home and was forced to live a life of secrecy and rebellion. On to the second question. What sort of freedom did Mandela enjoy as a boy? Was it real? Give your opinion. As a boy, Mandela enjoyed the freedom of running in the fields, swimming in the stream, roasting mealies and riding on the bulls. Was it real? No, it was not real. The blacks were restricted from doing many things. On to the third question. How did Mandela's understanding of freedom change with age and experience? As a student, he just wanted the freedom of being able to stay out at night, read what he pleased and go where he chose. As a young man, he wanted the freedom of achieving his potential to earn his keep and marry. Later, his hunger for his own freedom became the greater hunger for the freedom of his people. On to the fourth question. What does the line, the oppressed and the oppressor alike or robbed of their humanity suggest? The line suggests that both the oppressed and the oppressor are equally denied the right to be human in nature. Because the black suffers from the discrimination and the white suffers from the guilt consciousness that he is discriminating the black. On to the fifth question. What relevance does Nelson Mandela's life have to the present society? Nelson Mandela's life teaches us to be determinant, persistent, consistent in our thoughts and deeds. The struggle put forth by Mandela has helped abolish racial discrimination from Africa. It was this desire that animated my life. Which desire is the narrator referring to? The narrator is referring to his desire for freedom of his people to live their lives with dignity and self-respect. On to the vocabulary part. Take the most appropriate meaning for each of the following underlined words. I was born free. What does free mean in this particular context? Yes, it means to be able to act at will as he likes. I was prevented from fulfilling my obligations. Prevented in this context means stopped from doing. My freedom was curtailed. Curtailed means reduced. Only a little freedom was given. Rest of it was not given. There was a restriction over there. I was not a virtuous leader. Here, yeah, virtuous in this particular context means honest. On to the next bit. Read the following paragraph carefully. Fill in the blanks with the most appropriate forms of the words in the brackets. Nelson Mandela was an outstanding black leader of South Africa who spent his lifetime fighting against racial segregation. He had to spend 30 years of imprisonment to achieve freedom of the colored. 
Finally, he created history when he became the first black man as the president of independent Republic of South Africa. This great leader who has been a source of inspiration for millions of freedom lovers in the world was influenced by Mahatma Gandhi, the father of our nation. On to the grammar part. Here the concept is defining relative clause. What does defining relative clause mean? Yes, it is a clause which defines the noun preceding it, which gives information about the noun preceding it. That clause is called defining relative clause. And this relative clause is connected to the sentence with a relative pronoun. The adjectival classes are also called as defining relative clauses because they help to define the person or the object referred to. On to the exercise here. Pick out the defining relative clauses and the noun phrases they define from the text. Fill in the table given below. Here in the text we find certain relative clauses. They are A man in South Africa who tried to fulfill his duty to his people. In that sentence Who tried to fulfill his duty to his people is a relative clause. And who is a relative pronoun? And the noun phrase is a man in South Africa. The second one. The stream that ran through my village. In this phrase. The stream is a noun, noun phrase or the noun. That is a relative pronoun. That ran through my village is the relative clause. Everyone who looked like I did. Here everyone is the noun phrase or the noun. Who la looked like I did is the relative clause and who is a relative pronoun. Every way that I could know. Here every way is a noun. That I could know is a relative clause and that is a relative pronoun. On to part B, where the mind is without fear. The poet of this poem is Rabindranath Tagore. Answer the following questions. What does the poet mean by the head is held high? The head is held high means the right to live without fear suppression or domination. Explain what does the poet mean by where knowledge is free. The poet means a place where knowledge is made available to everyone irrespective of their caste, color, class, gender, religion or region. On to the third question. What are the narrow domestic walls? The narrow domestic walls are the discriminatory factors such as caste, color, class, religion, gender or region. On to the fourth question. Name any two traits of character the poet wants to inculcate in his countrymen. The poet wants to inculcate courage and equality in his countrymen. On to the fifth question. What do you understand by clear stream of reason? Clear stream of reason means logical thinking unaffected by superstitious beliefs or narrow-minded prejudices. 
On to the sixth question. What does the poet mean by let my country awake? The poet prays that his country should wake up from the blinding factors of discrimination, inequality, superstition and fear. On to the seventh question. What is heaven of freedom according to the poet? According to the poet, heaven of freedom is Mother India. free from the bondage of the discriminatory forces on to the eighth question how can we get rid of narrow domestic walls express your views we can get rid of narrow domestic walls by educating everyone and by inculcating equality unity broad mindedness and the feeling of brotherhood on to part c an icon of civil rights answer the following questions the speaker talks about a creative battle in the beginning of his speech what does he mean by this phrase creative battle means the fight using non violence against violence on to the second question What is Martin Luther King's speech about? List the issues he is talking about. Martin Luther's speech is about the hope that every man will treat his fellow man equally in the nearest future, which would prove the victory of truth and non-violence. He is talking about racial discrimination, poverty, illiteracy, and the denial of the right to vote prevalent in his country on to the third question do you think that this is an emotive speech if yes pick out the expressions that show that it is an emotive speech yes it is an emotive speech the expressions young people seeking to secure the right to vote were brutalized and murdered our children crying for brotherhood were answered with fire hoses snarling dogs and even death and debilitating and grinding poverty afflicts my people prove this on to the fourth question What sort of future does the speaker visualize for the Americans and the mankind in general? The speaker visualizes a future where people everywhere can have three meals a day for their bodies, education and culture for their mind, the dignity, equality and freedom for their spirits. On to the fifth question. Everyone has the right to safety and dignity. If this right is abused, it is always the abuser's fault. How can you resist and report about an abuser? We can approach the Human Rights Commission or file a report in the police station or inform the National Child Relief Helpline 1098 or contact the child rescue organizations to resist or report about an abuse on to the vocabulary part given below are the words taken from the reading passage listed as keywords match the word with the meaning as used in the text afflict afflict means cause pain beleaguered beleaguered means experience criticism retaliation retaliation means revenge tortuous tortuous means complicated prostrate prostrate means life flat turmoil turmoil in this particular context means great confusion curator curator means person in charge 
Read the following expressions taken from the reading passage. Blazing light of truth, wounded justice, majestic scorn. Now read the passage once again and pick out the figurative expressions. Find out the meanings of all the expressions including the ones given above. Blazing light of truth. This means the powerful brightness of truth capable of eliminating darkness. Wounded justice. It means justice denied to the blacks. Majestic scorn. Royal way of struggling against injustice. Unarmed truth. That is truth without weapons. Or the truth is so powerful that it does not need any weapon to defend itself. Starless midnight of racism. Hidden and lost in the darker than the darkest part of the night. Hope this session was useful to you in comprehending the passages as well as getting to know the vocabulary and grammar part of this unit. Thank you for watching and have a delightful day ahead. Don't forget to subscribe. Please share with your friends. And I'll be happy if you click the like button. Thank you once again.